Okay, today is massive mail day. I got a lot of stuff here. So we're going to jump right into what I uh, discovered in the mail today. They actually had to deliver it with a signature confirmation. And that's because my Italy package finally arrived. Hooray! Um, it is it is what it is, but we'll show you what that is. It's very strange. This is a Norman Rockwell postcard of a one-room schoolhouse. Nothing special there. You can see all the damaging ink th from something there. And Postmaster of Long Barn, California. Should have put it right there or right there, but that's what they did right down there. So, not to worry. I saw all this and I said, oh my gosh, they forgot to cancel it and they just almost did, but they put it right there. So, I figured Long Barn, California probably has something like this. Who knows? There is that one. One more I can cross off my list here. This one here um, is a package from Long Island, New York. I've since already opened it. Three envelopes for autograph purposes here for my astronaut collection here, NASA collection. One of these, uh, one of these lucky astronauts will be receiving this cover to be autographed. I cannot tell you which one. I don't remember on this one here, but um, it might have been James Newman. I'm not sure because I already have Dwayne Carey, I believe. Uh, Scott Altman, I have him. Nancy Curry. John Grunsfeld, I believe I have them. There might be... Oh, Michael Massimino. That's who I'm sending this one off to. So that one. So that's going off to that one. This one here is going off to, I believe, Charles uh, uh, D. Walker. I'm pretty sure I did not have that one for... Uh, I don't know what STS mission this one. It doesn't seem to say. These, I want to say, were $2 each. And then the one with the whole astronauts before were $3 for that one there. I believe that was 3 maybe 4 and then we have this one here, provided the blue tape doesn't damage it. And this one is going to have uh, one of these astronauts on here. It does not say, but this is STS-44. These are astronauts that just got kind of missed because I just needed one person for that mission. Some of these were one or ones. This are, um, they went one time only. This is what they call the Colorado Silk Cache. Silk is in quotes, but that's technically a little piece of silk there, I guess. And so these have some sort of following there. They have sometimes crazy value and sometimes they have very little value. Then we have a package from uh, eBay here. And these are all essentially TTM priced autographs here. So they were in that dollar uh, to dollar fifty price range there. Um, as you know, you get one, auto er, one autograph per. So um, it's not like sending out three or four. Um, but that's how they, I guess, they have made their money uh, doing one at a time. And these, were, I think, were originally IP. And I can't find too many of these people even finding any kind of data for some of these failed prospects. is really, really impossible on uh, ComC or, uh, I'm sorry, um, uh, Sports Card Forum or Star Tiger. So we have uh, John Drennan. I want to say this is 2005 or 2006. I don't remember right offhand here. Uh, Bowman first year. Um, and John Drennan is signed in black there. Um, it is at least a 103 card set. So there's at least 102 more cards I need to get out of that one there. This is for the 2015 set. This is Kyle uh, uh, Will, uh, Wilcox. What is that Kyle Wilcox? It's really hard to read this font here. But a Kyle Wilcox there. He just signed it K-Dub, so I don't know. I guess that he was just kind of really uh, rushing that day. This is uh, Donnie De DeWeez, not Donnie DeWeeb. And then there's Donnie DeWeez. This is card number uh, 16, and the previous one is going to be 72. I think there's 200 cards in that set. But unfortunately, they don't give you the numbers of the back of the cards, so you have to play the guessing game of which set that they belong to. Uh, here is from the Lexington Legends. This is Andrew Williams because, or sorry, Aaron Williams because somebody has written in ballpoint pen on the back of it who it was. Uh, that was not disclosed in the listing at all and the back was not shown. So that was kind of disappointing there, but what can you do? So um, Aaron, Aaron Will, Williams there. Um, very, very doofy signature there. 
Then we have a very, very fine point signature. It's almost like, it almost looks like a preprint on there, a part of the card there. But this is Ryan Brannan. Don't know Ryan Brannan. Did he just play half of a game and then he had, he didn't even have any coffee with the Phillies, because that's ridiculous. Don't even know him. Um, this is a 96 or 97. This is 1996 totals, 1997 Bowman. Um, again, this is probably like a two or 300 card set, at least. I don't know. This is card number 332, so that's a big one to fill. Then we have this one here of Tyler Mark. Don't know anything about Tyler Mark. He tried out with a D-backs, and that was it. Then we have Charles Frazier, signed in black here on this nice uh, 2000 or 99-2000 uh, let's see, 2001 Tops uh, Bowman card here. So, nice Bowman card of our earlier Marlins. Kind of neat there. We have uh, Tory Langley. Not sure anything about him, though, but I think this was his high school card here. Um, it just says West Team Alexander High School. No date there, but if this is from 98 or something like that, um, let's see. Or two th sorry, 2006. If it's 2006, then just subtract 18 to 20 years uh, before that. So probably somewhere like 1987, 86. Luis Ramirez, and a note sign right here. He signed in some sort of black sharpie, but then you tur flip it and it turns like, I turn it this way, and it's um, very strange. I don't know. It's almost like he signed over his old signature. I, I really have no idea. No clue what that is, but it's kind of like a bronze or something like that when you flip it this way. And this way it looks black. Very bizarre and unusual. And we have Brett Herbison, because why not? This is kind of like a flagship Bowman card here. And those are kind of popular. As they have, I think, the veterans in that set as well, too. We have Mikey White. Don't know anything about his athletics experience, but there's Mikey White for the set. It's in number 119. We have... Alex Robinson. Alex Robinson signed in the dark spot in a, a blue sharpie. So that doesn't help anybody if you're trying to figure out if it's actually signed. I don't know what I'm up to my set 30 or 40. And then we have Kellen Deglin. Um, no idea, but he um, did fairly similar to his uh, very weird and unusual silver sharpie uh, pre printed signature here. Facsimile with a black border around it. Very unusual. And this is from 2000, or sorry, um, 2010. It's really hard to know all these, um, but there's that one there. It looks like he was with the Texas Rangers um, organization. Next, the thing we're going to do is look at the Italian order that came in. I've already since torn this open here, and this is um, the stamps there. And with a signature needed, it came from Mr. Panini. Some of the most bizarre and unusual cards came from this guy here. So we want to show you um, this one here first. Um, this is Tops. I'm not even joking. So we're going to show you this Kevin Kellen Deglin card here. Look at this ridiculous tiny Tops sticker. I had no idea. This is a Panini sticker, mind you. That's a Panini sticker compared to that little dinky little Tops sticker. That's Tops. That's um, a Munich, I believe. And that's Allianz Arena, Arena, D Allianz Arena, very, very tiny. This is like the size of a Cracker Jack card, almost. Very, very ridiculously tiny. Number 130, it's off-center on the back there. Some sort of teensy-weensy album sticker. If I had known those were going to be so tiny, I would not have grabbed it. But it's a Topps uh, product somehow, I don't know. And we have one more Topps product here from the same set. I forgot what year this was even. I think it's this year maybe. Uh, Karina Weninger. Um, again, for the same team there. Uh, FC Bayern. Tiny, tiny, tiny little card. I wish I could show these better here, but the uh, uh, it's going to be really pretty bad there. And this is number 96. I just thought I would... But there is the Topps logo right there. Now, we're going to get to the last ones here. And we have uh, four... Panini stickers right here that make a whole puzzle here. So this is a, a Nissan Pajero. Um, there's that one, that one, and that one, and this one. That make a complete puzzle. I'll try to do a photograph of that at the end of the video here. Nissan Pajero right there. And then, there we go. And then we have another Nissan 
I'm sorry, Nissan. I meant to say Mitsubishi, sorry. Mitsubishi. And then we have this one here, another Mitsubishi. I'll try to give you a description of this at the end of the video here. But that is what came in today. Absolutely stunning amount of mail here, so that means nothing will be here tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed that. All kinds of goodies here that I have to sort and put away and figure out what to do with. And thank you for watching.